The Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC, has approved the dismissal of 18 officers found culpable for various offences. The offences include desertion, forgery, number plates, racketeering, bribery, scandalous behaviour, driver's licence, racketeering and other misconduct. The commission also reduced the ranks of 10 others. According to the spokesperson of the court, B.C. Kazim, the officers were sanctioned in accordance with the provisions of the FRC regulation on discipline. Joining us is the man himself, uh, Mr. B.C. Kazim, a spokesman for the FRSC. A pleasure to have you join us on The Breakfast. Now, how constant is this kind of decision or there is a new sheriff in town? No, it has always been like that. It's only that uh, most of the time, you will not know that such actions have been taken. But we decided to start to publicize it so that people could be curious, so that people could know who are, who are involved, so that uh, it could equally serve as different. It's like uh, having an all of shame. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a new sheriff in town. It's, uh, it's something that is operational with us. It's something that is... Uh, readily available uh, readily available stick for us to use at all times so how come you haven't been doing this why the decision to begin to do it now and that's what i said i said the punishments have, have been we've been doing it it's only that we decided to be publicizing to, to just to be like all of shame you understand that uh, people will now... Yeah, yeah, I, I get your point when you say it's a hall of shame. Um, I mean, yes. why did you decide to publicize it, that hall of shame now? Why not previously? The, the, the FRSC has been around for quite a long time. This seems like uh, almost a novel situation for a lot of Nigerians to hear that officers in your uh, core has been either dismissed or sanctioned. Yes, we, we have been... Announcing some while we keep quiet on some. But what I told you now is just that we want it to serve as more deterrent to people. Okay. When you now know that uh, your names are published and the uh, people could know who are always involved, you will want to think twice before you commit an offense. It's an improvement of what we have been doing anyway. All right. Um, I, will, I want you to explain a little for our viewers to understand better. Uh, you cited dismissal uh, to the reasons for the dismissal to include uh, driver's license and number plates racketeering. Uh, could you explain this? Yes. Uh, we are not supposed to be involved in. We only produce driver's license. Driver's license is a tripartite arrangement between the VIOs, the Board of Internal Revenue, and FRS. FRS is just supposed to produce the, the field form and uh, send back the license to the Board of Internal Revenue to distribute. But we find out that some of our men who collect money are far above what is stipulated and uh, get involved in uh, touting. And then when they are caught, they, they are dismissed. That's it's as simple as that. And they call it number plate. Okay. Um, it takes two to commit some of these offenses. What about the public that gives bribe? Uh, can the core hand them over to the police? And what lessons should other officers uh, learn from this? Yes, we are doing that. We equally have an offense in a ticket known as attempt to corrupt Mashar. And then uh, once you offer us bribe, we take that bribe, we attach it to the ticket, I will give you a ticket, a citation for either the original offense or primary offense, plus attempting to corrupt us. Then we now take you to court, either mobile court or the regular court. So it's equally ongoing. We do that up to two. Okay, should Nigerians continue to expect this kind of um, action from the core going forward and uh, the long-term effect it's going to have on the core generally? Well, there's no going back to this. We will do more uh, because uh, the, apart from the fact that uh, we are known to have zero tolerance for uh, corruption, we equally must be seen to be carrying out the President Muhammadu Buhari's anti-corruption stance 
to, to, to fully. And that is what we are doing. I will continue. And we believe that uh, we will very soon read uh, the core of all the corruptive tendencies that are uh, a giant state. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Bisi Kazim, the FRSC spokesman, for your time on The Breakfast. Thank you.